is up you guys it's Sudi Tootie here back with another anime review I was gonna say episode of something <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the episode 5 uh, of Little Buster's EX anime review uh, my overall thoughts before I start going in depth is that I liked how relaxed it was but at the same time I think that the pacing had problems I think that the way the pacing went about there were a lot of things that were worthless to the plot like the fact that uh, I'll, I'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, uh, the it, the plot starts off with uh, Kiyosuke not being at the school. Uh, it's just like a regular school day. Uh, Kiyosuke is not there, and that that's kind of just a way to tell you that something's going to go down. <laughs> uh, but while everybody's in the class, uh, a cat walks in. It's just, or Riki spots a cat near the door, and then it walks in, and it's just extremely odd for everybody. So Rin tries to pet it, but then it ends up running off, and it runs into Sasagawa, who is the most stubborn chick I've ever seen. <laughs> she is so stuck up, and even later in the episode, she's so stuck up. But going on with that, uh, they end up seeing, uh, what's her name? Uh, Komori. Komori. Uh, they end up talking to her, and it turns out that Sasegawa and Komori are not only roommates, but they're also very good friends. They just don't make it very public. Uh, so later on that night, Riki ends up um, getting, you know, acquainted <laughs> with the black cat, who ends up um, being revealed to be Sasegawa, uh, because she turns into the cat, and, you know, they start doing speculations on how to fix it, and, uh, like, if they leave the room, there will be an issue. There was a little bit of fan service in here, but it wasn't that big, which is funny, because if you type in Little Buster's EX on uh, Google Images, all you'll find is fan service. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking about that, but, uh, for the most part, that was about it, except for at the end, uh, it turns out that they started looking for Komuri-chan, because Komuri-chan apparently went missing after Riki-kun kind of realized, uh, something really weird, and I didn't really think about it until he actually brought it up, the fact that if, uh, Sasegawa is going to have to change forms, so will her, like, your clothes don't change forms with you, so therefore, the bow tie on the end of her tail should have stayed the same size and just been too big for her. It shouldn't have shrunk down to her size, and that's an issue, which makes me wonder if Kiyosuke is doing something else again. W uh, speaking of Kiyosuke, uh, I still think that he was the masked man that, uh, what's her name, Saya had to kill, um, in episode 4 of EX. That's just my opinion, but... Here's where the problem comes in. The problem is, uh, number one, what happened to the cat? Because, yes, Sasegawa has to turn into something, but I feel as if that was just, like, a cop-out answer. I don't... And another, uh, another thing. Uh, how did they get to this world? If Riki-kun is right, which he clearly is, how did they get to another world? It's, it's this weird thing, because they never explained how they did it in, uh, the first arc... They never explained it in refrain because they did it like this in refla refrain. Or if they did um, say it, from what I've heard, it was only explained fully in the manga. So if it was only explained fully in the manga, I think that's unfair to the anime watchers. I think that for them to have to go find the manga to kind of comprehend the plot <laughs> is it's a little far-fetched for me. I don't see why they would why they would take that approach. But, like I said, maybe I could have missed something. Uh, I don't remember anything that I did miss in terms of, like, plot holes and stuff. Because the main problem is, how did they get to this world? Like I said, which was the exact same problem that we had in Refrain when it turns out that, you know, Kiyosuke had created a world that he was trying to repeat over and over, and so did Kuragaya at the beginning. Which, by the way, is back, and I'm so happy to see her back because it was so sad when she just left because she was the best character. <laughs> Come on, Kuragaya for the win. But those are my thoughts. That's just thoughts and speculation from me. But overall, uh, this episode, for a month's two-month wait, <laughs> I would say that a lot wasn't really covered. I say that this episode was probably the worst of the ones we've seen so far because nothing really got explained, and it was more of like this random relax episode. Uh, that's just my opinion on the entire matter, but I think next episode they'll do a better job with pacing now to the fact that we have the entire issue settled out. 
I think the real problem with pacing came from the cat. The cat and how nothing about it was really explained other than that it was Sasegawa at the end. So, that's just my opinion. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment. Uh, if you want more of me, uh, gaming channel will be on screen. And, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be ready for the next anime review soon. Deuces!